Is it just COVID-19? Surely there's more. Yeah, I, I really want to touch on, on the point that Tabo has raised regarding uh, climate risk. Mm -hmm. um, because I think, uh, you know, it's one of those ones that's really hard to get your mind around. Um, Michelle Wooker is a writer in the US and she coined the term the grey rhino, mm -hmm. which is a little bit of a cross between a black swan event, one of those totally unpredictable events, and the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. um, because it's a high impact, high probability event, but we just can't get our minds around it. But I think what COVID has done is, is it's given us a tangible example of just how quickly life can change, yeah. just how quickly everything can happen. And I think because of that um, experience that we've had with COVID, the world is starting to really engage with climate risk. Um, it certainly helps that we've now got a president in the US who is uh, <laughs> supportive of that, um, rather than being a climate denialist. But what we're also seeing is within the investment market, and that's our job as a super fund as a board, to make sure that we're starting to not just as we always have, look at responsible investing and sustainability, but really to say, how can we put members' money to work towards sure. contributing and, and minimizing climate risk as best we can? Mm -hmm. um, so responsible investing is a key theme there. So climate risk isn't just the negative, it also introduces opportunities to change how we do things.